The curse of the Bloodstone Diamond may forever be a mystery. All previous owners have met with an untimely death. However, all were suspected of foul play. Six strangers find themselves in a deserted manor. All invited by a mysterious Mr. Iago. A prime suspect in the theft of the Bloodstone Diamond. Jack Baron, Black Market Jewel Sales. You didn't think I was going to keep the Bloodstone for myself, did you? Your turn. Kendra White. I'm a curator at the Smithsonian. And I oversee the wing of the institute that the Bloodstone was taken. And I've, I've read a great deal about it. Guy Whitley. I, uh, you know, kind of an import-export kind of guy. Uh, you know, moving things from here to there, nothing too exciting, so, you know. And how does that connect you to the Bloodstone? Cynthia Holborn. I was covering the story and I had a hard time getting the answers. Blake Howard. I'm currently working on compiling a book for my findings. Some of these stones have a fascinating bloody past. Tara Reed. Nothing more. I like a mystery. Especially real life history. They said, sit down and shut up! I beg your pardon! You have no clue as to what's going on here, so let someone talk dead! Hey, guys, guys, guys! Take it easy. It's not like there's been a murder or anything. You excuse me, I better get back to Miss Reed. Mr. Hurry. The Western Fisherman here. Better. You may find me a more difficult adversary than you can imagine. Don't get cocky with me, Kendra! I'll flip your throat faster than you can blink! You said something to her, didn't you? Tell her what we spoke to her! That's a lie! Oh, oh. Tell her what you said! Nothing on this! Let me go! Yes.